Life seems so much simpler when we were kids. Don't you think? There were much less things to worry about, and more things that could make us truly happy. It was amazing how some simple things used to put a big smile on our face. I still remember how happy I was when I got my first hula hoop. So much happiness because of one simple toy. The thing is, as we grow older and our world gets bigger and we gain new experiences, we get overwhelmed and see happiness as something that is hard to achieve, and fail to see it's been here all along. Why is it so harder to be happy when you get older? Well, when we were kids, we were completely focused on ourselves, everything we did, we did to make us feel good. As adults, we let the society define the notion of happiness, but we are we in that story? We need to look for happiness inside and stop doing things that aren't helping us. What you should stop doing and what you should do instead. Number 1. Stop ignoring your own needs. Why? Trying to please everybody is a mission impossible. You will never be able to do that. And while you are taking care about everybody else's needs, who is taking care of yours? No one. If you don't think about yourself and what you can do to be happy, nobody else will. That's the hard truth. The sooner you realize this, the better. What you should do instead. Everyone is different, and nobody knows better than you what you really want and need. So, sit down and take a moment to think about your desires. Tune out outside voices, follow your emotions and they will tell you what you need. Number 2. Stop comparing yourself to others. Why? There are no two same people. And that is a wonderful thing. Being unique as we are, there's no point in comparing ourselves to other people. We just end up being miserable and envious of the things we don't have. We should have faith in our life journey and that everything we want will find its way to us in the right moment. What you should do instead. Stop spending hours and hours looking at perfect lives of other people on social media. Their lives might not be so perfect after all, they surely have their share of struggles. Instead, focus on your life and how to make it better. Start making some real changes instead of just staring at computer screen. Don't just complain how some people have it all, and start working on achieving your goals. Praise yourself for the little achievements and from time to time, stop to think how far you've come. Number 3. Stop resisting your fear. Why? Being afraid stops us from experiencing many great things. It limits us and prevents us from feeling happy. If you are constantly afraid of everything, you will isolate yourself from everything. But if you push yourself into overcoming your fears, you will see there are no limits as to what you can do, and you will realize your life is in your hands. What you should do instead. Approach every situation you fear as a step closer on your way of becoming a better person. I used to be afraid of saying no to people when I couldn't or didn't want to do something. I was so afraid people won't like me anymore. But, I learned that not everyone can and should like me. And being afraid of saying no was doing no good to me, I was wasting my valuable time and energy on something I didn't want to do. Now, I say no and feel so much better. Number 4. Stop feeling bad for making a mistake. Why? If you don't make mistakes, there are no challenges and no chances for personal growth. Not wanting to make mistakes means you don't get to try new things and learn new things. Mistakes are also valuable lessons that will stick with us forever and make us better. What you should do instead. Don't look at mistakes as something bad and embarrassing. When I had my first job, I was so embarrassed because of the mistakes I made. But I learned so much, and those mistakes made me more experienced and much confident in my skills. Every time you make a mistake, just remember it will be really helpful in the future, and that at some point you will be grateful for it. Number 5. Stop putting your happiness into others' hands. Why? If you don't love yourself and know how to be happy on your own, nobody else can do it for you. Happiness is inside you, not outside. And no one can fill the void if you are not happy. Besides, nobody is in your skin and knows what's best for you. What you should do instead. Take a few days and be on your own, just you and your thoughts. Do something relaxing, 
and figure out what makes you happy and what you can do to seek happiness without anybody else in the picture. Nobody can make the right decisions for you, because it's something you live with, not other people. Number 6. Stop trying to take control of all aspects of your life. Why? Life is unpredictable, and that's the beauty of it. Trying to control everything in your life is like trying to control the weather, simply not possible. Yes, there is rain and storm, but there is also sun and rainbows. There is no point in stressing out about something you simply cannot change. The trick is to go with the flow and look forward to the unknown. Life would be so boring if everything was planned in advance. What you should do instead. Try to not have every step of every day planned. I learned from my experience there are always unpredictable situations, and I just get frustrated if things aren't going the way I planned. So, I don't make detailed plans and always have room for improvisation. Number 7. Stop living to others' expectations or social standards. Why? We are all a part of a society, and every society will always have standards people should live by. But trying to achieve those standards will not make you happy. Why do you need to get married before 30? Why do you even need to get married if that's not something you want? What you should do instead. You will never be able to please everyone, so just follow your heart and do what feels right to you. Forget what other people expect, and create your own goals. Number 8. Stop aiming for perfection. Why? There's no such thing as perfection. You will just waste valuable time and energy and drive yourself crazy if you want everything to be perfect. What you should do instead. Put that energy into something more creative. Aiming for perfection is a never-ending battle, so stop trying so hard and do something more fun, like reading a book, or meeting your friends for coffee.